Howdy friends and neighbors, this is Robbie Janae with another Shutterstock tutorial and today we're going to be talking about color. Now color grading and color correction may seem like a really you know, alien concept to a lot of people. So then I learned about a thing called a LUT. Now LUT stands for look up table. Oh, that's two words? Oh. There we go. Now a lookup table is basically code that can transition one color to a different color just by putting on top of a video. And it can create a mood, a theme, or just change the color all around of your video. It can make your video any sort of theme you want. You can make it look like this, 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 or this. Not that, this. Um, it's what I use in almost every single one of my videos. You have to have LUTs to make good videos look good. So today we're gonna try to dive into that, just get a basic understanding of how LUTs work. So let's get started. Before you start this tutorial, make sure you download our 35 free LUTs for color grading videos on rocketstock.com. These are the LUTs we'll be using for this video and they're free to download in the description below. All right guys, so how we're gonna start this off is we're gonna take two clips that I have. One is of a landscape shot and the other is of two actors that I have. And both these are log footage. So you'll be able to see the dramatic effects of LUTs on top of the video. Uh, so we have our landscape, so we'll be able to see the effects of it on the sky, in the ground, and the textures of the landscape. And also two actors, so we can see the effects of LUT on human skin tone and how it can affect a scene and make it look more, more natural. So we got this, and the first thing we're going to do is create an adjustment layer. How you're going to do that is right click, go to new item, select adjustment layer inside your project window, press OK, just drag that right on top. And then trim that to make it the same length of the video. And the reason we're gonna use adjustment layers is because it's a lot easier to edit LUTs on top of your video inside an adjustment layer in case you wanna uh, affect the opacity of the LUT. If it's too intense, you can bring it down. And also if you wanna copy this over, you can just press Control C and then bring it on top of another video. So how we need to go from here is that we have our adjustment layer selected and go to our Lumetri Color panel on the right. If you don't have that, go up to Window and select Lumetri Color. So now that we have that, we're going to be affecting our landscape shot first. So this landscape shot is pretty like, you know, uh, post-apocalyptic, like um, walking through the reeds, very walking dead type. So we're going to pick a LUT that's going to correctly correlate with the mood we're trying to achieve with this shot. So from here, we're going to go to input LUT and browse. And we're going to select from the 35 free LUTs we got from Rocket Stock. And you if you haven't downloaded those, I'd do that now so you can select from 35 of these awesome LUTs we have for free. Um, I've used Folger before to get that like, you know, dark moody feel. So I'm going to select that right now. Open that up and you can see the dramatic effect that the LUT does and made it more texturized, desaturated a bit. And we really get that like, you know, zombie. It honestly looks like there can, there's going to be a zombie popping out of those fields right now. And if you want to adjust this anymore, you can go to your Lumetri color panel, you know, make it colder, make it warmer. It's totally up to you on how, what kind of feel you want in your video. The LUT is just a starting out point, and then you can do a lot of editing within your Lumetri color panel. All right, guys, so moving on to our actor shots. So just like the other one, I'm going to select our adjustment layer, go up to input LUT, browse, and for this type of shot, especially with like two principal actors, we're going to want to select Tweed. Um, again, you can select all of these, you can play with them, uh, see which one works for you. But for this shot, you can select Tweed and look how much of a difference that makes just instantly. Um, compared to the previous video, you know, you see how it's previously the background was a lot more purple. Now we got a lot more true blacks and our actors skin tones are a lot more natural, human like, and even makes them look a lot better. Um, it's so cool how LUTs can affect this. I mean, even look at the landscape shot beforehand. See that stark difference it makes. It completely changes the mood of the video, and that's how cool it is to use LUTs. So that was your super simple intro into how to use LUTs. Again, this is very intro. Uh, whenever you start getting into like you know editing a short film that you want to you know present to a uh, film festival or something like that, um, I recommend you know really diving into the settings of every single shot you have because one blanket LUT is not going to make all of your video look good because one shot might be lighter than the other, one shot might be darker than the other. So whenever you really want to dive into a project, make sure to adjust all the settings on your video. You could put a blanket LUT, but always go into your settings and make sure that your video looks good on every single shot. So make sure to download all those free LUTs that we have linked below. Uh, we have a 
bunch from different websites that we have that you are totally free to have. Uh, make sure to experiment with them. Like throw uh, one or two onto your video. You know, play with the opacity settings, play with the color. Um, you have all of it at your arsenal, and it's free to use. So have it. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe below and uh, keep updated so you can watch our videos in the future. This has been Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com, and I'll see you next time.